After playing my first game for Lincoln City in a pre-season friendly, I didn't think anything could bring me down from that rush. Turns out I was wrong. Since that first game, I'd played in a few more friendlies and to be fair, I hadn't played badly, but at the same time, I hadn't played brilliantly either. On the one hand, I'd been involved in creating a lot of opportunities, but I hadn't scored another goal. And on top of that, for one of the goals we conceded, I was out of position and really at fault for not making a tackle. If that wasn't bad enough, I'd also picked up two niggles in two games to an old injury, one of the injuries that helped end my youth career in the first place. These little injuries had put question marks over my fitness and the manager really came down hard on me in it. He wanted to make sure that I was going to be fit for the season, otherwise I might not even be in the team. On top of that as well, Tyler Walker and John Akinde had both been playing a lot better than I had and it seemed clear to me that the manager was getting ready for them to be the starting strikers in rotating roles with each other. That left me as the odd one out. When was I ever going to get game time? I'd done well in training, but I just wasn't fit enough. I wasn't on the same level as the other players in the squad. I've been doing extra sessions after training sessions to try and build my fitness. My favourite was to go cycling through the Lincolnshire Wolds, and on the way back home, I like to look out over the city from a viewpoint. Who knew that Lincoln looks so much like Los Angeles? It was good to come up here and think about things, but it would never ever prepare me for what was about to come. The next day at training, the manager sat me down and told me that he'd received an offer for me to go out on loan to Cambridge United in League 2. It's not a terrible move, but I'd already had it in my head that I was going to be playing for Lincoln City in League 1 this season. I've bonded with the team over pre-season, I felt at home, I was happy. Now I've got to go to a new club, a new team, and start all over again. There was no say in the matter for me. I was told that I wasn't going to be playing football here this season, and I've got to go and prove myself at Cambridge. Driving to Cambridge to start my time at a new club, the words of the manager were going around in my head. He told me it was time to develop and show what I could do and will reassess my progress when I was back at the club. I've heard that all before though, but I suppose I was still a professional footballer and it was still an opportunity to show that I could make it still. If I do well at Cambridge, it could accelerate my career, but at the same time, if I don't do well, it might just end it and it will stop in its tracks. I haven't had a chance to play with Cambridge as well. I've come right at the end of pre-season. I've not had any chances to play in a friendly and I wasn't accustomed to the way they were playing. And all I could think was how that was going to set me back. I was getting in such a negative mindset about things. However, as I got to Cambridge, met my new teammates, got involved with training, the manager came to me and he showed some faith in me and told me that I was going to be playing on the first game of the season. I was going to have my first ever professional competitive appearance. The issue was we were playing Bradford and they were relegated from League One last season and despite being relegated, they're still a really, really decent side and perhaps the manager was thinking we need to cut our losses and save our best players for the next game. I'd have to put in a really, really good shift against Bradford to stand out and make the manager want to pick me every single week. So as kickoff is a us against Bradford City, we need to hit the ground running and we need to get a fantastic result against them. They're a decent side, so they're going to be really, really good and really up for the game. Obviously, they've got a point to prove, having been relegated last season. So, if we can have a good showing against them today, it could do, it could put us in quite good stead for the season. If we can beat them, it puts a good statement of intent out there. As we try and get forward early on, I'm trying to cut inside but get out muscled. I want to make a good statement of intent for myself as well, personally. I want to make sure I'm staked into the manager's claims. I want to make sure I'm in his plans as we get a nice, do a bit, a nice bit of skill there to get forward in today's game. And I'm trying to get myself out wide because I think I can operate quite well from out wide. And we're through in the back. We can put a decent cross into the middle perhaps or maybe cut inside. Go for the shot instead. It's my first shot of the season and unfortunately... It goes just wide of the post. The keeper probably had it covered anyway. Goes well wide in the end. But the manager obviously looking for a good response from me in today's game. But we get a chance later on in the game as well. 28th minute now. As we look to come forward with the ball, we get tackled in the area. Why is that not a penalty? I feel like that could have been a penalty for us in my opinion. But unfortunately, Bradford come away from the ball. And that's how the first half ends. It was a very, very cagey first half. Not from both the sides, but from me as well. I couldn't really get much of a chance on the ball. I didn't get to show myself much. Bradford, this was their best chance of the game on the 60-minute mark. It was a cross-come shot that went over the bar. They really didn't show anything, and we tried to do a bit of bit of tiki-taka in the second half as our player gets on the end of my ball. It was intercepted, but the good tackle there, and the shot is just wide of the post. Whoever gets a goal in today's game is going to win it. It's that kind of game as we get to the 80-minute mark now. And unfortunately, it looks like Bradford are coming forward, but we managed to get the tackle in, and we're going on a nice little counter-attack ourselves now as the ball has been put up towards me. 
All I have to do is beat my defender. I get just about around him. I've put just a bit too much on the ball, though, and the keeper gets there just before I do. And unfortunately, I don't manage to score there. And that is how the first game of the season ends. It's a nil-nil draw. Decent chance for Bradford Rice at the end, but they don't capitalise on it. And we end up nil-nil, which isn't a bad result, I've got to say. I'm pretty pleased with how that one turned out. I may have not scored, but I was buoyed by the clean sheet and the good performance. And the manager, he was pleased with me as well. He told me that he wanted to keep me in the side for the next game, which was a home game against Newport County. Of course, I was absolutely delighted by this, but I could tell that some of my new teammates were a little bit annoyed. How can someone come into the side, not play a single minute of pre-season and be picked straight away? And they're not even scored a goal yet. Especially someone like me who's never played a professional game of football before. I think they had a lot of questions for me. But there was one way I knew how to win them around. And that was to score some goals. So Newport County are a very, very good side. And they've got a very good young manager as well. So it's going to be a really tough game to break them down. But of course, we're playing at home today. And that is the biggest factor here. Playing at home with a home crowd. Surely that is going to make us better. Now we had some really good chances at the start of the game. But we just couldn't really make the most of it in the final third we were really good at building up chances we played really well in creating them but we just couldn't finish them this cross comes in and I'm trying to get there but I just can't get there in front of the defenders and it's that kind of just lack of clinical play that we seem to be lacking and this wasn't helped by the chance that Newport County came forward and scored a header which I should have cleared I was at fault for that goal you can see from the replays here that the ball comes in I'm there trying to head it away but their guy just comes and steamrolls in gets the header, wins it ahead of me and puts it in the back of a net. But still, that was the only chance of the game. Our dominance continued as we still try and come forward. As another shot is saved there, a header was cleared first and then the shot was saved and we still keep the pressure up against Newport County. Again, another chance now, this time being blocked by the defenders before the cross can properly come in. But we were so good from this bit of play and we were like this all game. Obviously, the training's been working really well, but we just can't seem to score a goal. I nearly get on the end of the ball there. A good save there from the snap reaction shot that I put in. The keeper had a really, really good performance for Newport County, and we just couldn't seem to get there at all. Hopefully, though, we'll get there as another good shot comes in from Newport. That's only their second chance of the game, really, but the keeper makes a fantastic save. And just before half time, we were sort of running out of ideas, and I was thinking, okay, in the second half, I just need to be more selfish. Let's not try to work as a team unit. I'm going to be selfish. I intercept the ball there fantastically. Get past one defender. Get towards the box. And I've got a chance to cut on the inside. Come inside. Get past one. Get past two. But tackled at the last second there, unfortunately. But I do manage to win the ball back in the attacking third. And this time I've got another opportunity to get inside the box. Cut inside. Cut to the outside. Can I get the shot away? I do. But it's blocked. And perhaps this selfish attitude isn't really the best one to go for, but I have just created some really good opportunities for us there. Perhaps I need to be selfish to create the opportunities, but then be a bit less selfish when it's come to create the chances. I put the ball wide from that cross. Now, that was the perfect opportunity. And somehow, I don't know how I've done this, but I've completely sent the ball the wrong way there from ahead. And that was the opening chance for me to get my debut goal, a goal in the, one of my first goals in the league, obviously. I have a chance to do it, and it could have happened then. It could have happened again. I was trying to be selfish, but then try and pass off at the last second, and it didn't quite work out that time. It could have been a goal up to the good there if I'd done something good there, and I couldn't get on the end of that ball either. And again, it's just that lack of final ball that I'm even failing to find now because I'm trying to be too selfish and things like that. But we hit to the 70th minute now, and we're looking for a goal still. Newport have offered nothing all game. I'm in the box, though. And a shot has been saved by the keeper. What a fantastic save that was. We are getting closer and closer. I can feel that there is a goal coming in here somewhere. At this time, we're coming forward once again. We managed to retain possession despite the tackles. And I get inside the area, behind the defender, take the shot and score. The first goal of the season for Cambridge United. It's my first goal as well. We've got us underway and we are also winning today's game against Newport County, which is absolutely fantastic. I've lied to you. We're not winning. We're drawing. I've just realised we're drawing. And that's like, that's that's the thing. I was so excited with scoring the goal that I realised that we're not actually winning. We're drawing. So now we need to get back in it straight away. We need to be switched on and score another goal because we can't lose this game. We can't draw. We want to get a win here today for our home fans, which is absolutely fantastic. And I've got the ball forward there. I'm in behind the defence and I'm sprinting into the box. I've just scored a goal. Can I get another one? Put it through. What a fantastic finish from me. My 10th shot in all the games that we've played. And it's finally in the back of the net for another goal. 
and it's put us 2-1 up and we are cruising now on our way to victory. I can't believe that it's taken two goals to score and it's taken so long to score. We've had so many shots and chances in today's game against Newport County. They've had the one, one chance which they scored. We've had so many and we finally scored two right at the end of the game here. I just put my laces through it and it just beats the keeper and goes into the roof of the net. The Cambridge fans behind the goal go mental. The manager is loving it as well. And now we've just got to hold on for another few minutes. And potentially, we're going to have another chance here as the ball's been put forward to our winger. He's in a good position. Can he put a cross in for a third goal? Oh, it's headed just wide by my teammate, unfortunately. But as the clock ticks down, Newport County coming forward with one final opportunity for them. Can they capitalise? We get the tackle in there. Can we just get the ball clear? The referee will surely blow his whistle. The ball is cleared, the referee blows his whistle and we get our first victory of the season. And I've got two goals to my name now, which when you average it out is a goal a game. If we can keep doing that, I'll be an absolute wonder kid and I'll be playing in the Premier League in no time. What an absolutely fantastic performance and hopefully that's alleviated all the worries that my teammates are having about me because I've come into the side and I've proved myself now by scoring two goals and getting us the three points. I didn't stop there though. A lot of my teammates wanted to go out and celebrate, but me, all I want to do is get fitter, faster, stronger and better in every single way. So that night I went straight back out on the bike to do a few miles to sort of rest myself, do a bit of a cool down, but also build some fitness as well. I also don't want to fall into the old habits of going out partying after a victory. That was one of the key reasons I was kicked out of youth academies and I'm determined not to let that happen again.